Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about standard normal distribution. You know, previous classes we clearly discussed about what's normal distribution and the properties of normal distribution. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, here we are going to understand what standard normal distribution and what's the pro probability table means. In our coming classes, we are going to extend the concept how to find the probability values, how we use this concept in identifying the probabilities of other distributions, other normal distributions that we are going to discuss in our coming classes coming to today's class standard normal distribution if normal distribution having mean zero you take a normal distribution if that normal distribution is having a mean value is zero and variance is one then we call this normal distribution as a standard normal distribution it's very very simple to understand the mean is zero and the variance is one so uh, the random variable to denote this standard normal distribution is given as z usually we are following x as our random variable for random variable for standard normal distribution is given as z so most of the textbooks follow this z that's why we are going to follow that uh, z variable now coming to the equation f of z mu sigma square this is the this is the notation we are using to find uh, to denote the normal distribution so the same we are using for standard normal distribution z is the random variable mu sigma square is given as 1 by sigma square root of 2 pi e power minus 1 by 2 z minus mu by sigma whole square in this place see sigma square is equal to 1 means sigma is equal to 1 variance is equal to 1 means sigma is standard deviation standard deviation is also 1 square root of 1 is 1 so substitute 1 here sigma is equal to 1 mu is equal to 0 sigma is equal to 1 if you substitute these values z minus 0 by 1 means z z square that is what uh, the standard normal variable standard normal distribution is given as f of z 0 1 is equal to 1 by square root of 2 pi e power minus z square by 2 this is the equation for the standard normal distribution let's have a graphical intuition about how the standard normal distribution looks so if you take the x-axis and if you take the y-axis on y-axis we are going to place the probability values on x-axis we are going to take the random variable value so our mean value is at 0 comma 0 x y intersection 0 yes x is equal to 0 at this place sir, we are having so mean is equal to 0 that's why at mean we are going to have the highest highest value these discussions made in our previous classes when we discussed about the properties so our uh, normal distribution standard normal distribution is symmetric on uh, on y axis on both the sides so standard deviation is 1 sigma square is equal to 1 variance is equal to 1 means standard deviation is equal to 1 one standard deviation distance from mean value means from 0 to one standard deviation distance uh, towards left side is given as minus 1 because this is the coordinate axis Yes, at 0 we are having mean. 2 standard deviation distance is minus 2. 3 standard deviation distance is from the mean value on the left hand side is given as minus 3. The same way, 1 standard deviation distance from the mean to the right side is given as plus 1, plus 2, plus 3. So this is how our normal standard normal distribution looks uh, graphically. This is the place where it, it is. Uh. Now coming to that, uh, coming to the next question. Uh, if someone asks you to identify the probability between minus 1 to 1, so what we have to identify in continuous random variables, we need to identify the area. If you find the area, that is what the probability means. How we find the area? Probability of minus 1 less than z less than 1. So we need to identify the probability value between minus 1 and 1. So we, if you want to identify the area, minus 1 to 1, 1 by square root of 2 pi e power minus z square by 2 so substitute in this equation solve this equation means a dou z here we, we forgot to write the dou z so we have to write the differentiation of z so substitute uh, differentiate it and substitute and find the probability value is it easy all the time if you do this mathematics for this equation no it is not easy let's take one more example if someone asks you to identify probability of minus infinity less than z less than 1 means uh, they are trying to ask uh, from here 1 on the left side of the 1 uh, minus infinity to 1 what is the probability value 
means you have to identify minus infinity to one area under the curve if you want to identify the area this is the equation minus infinity to one this is the equation so all the time solving these equations is not easy and finding the probabilities is complex that's why they have provided a probability table for standard normal distribution so this is the table instead of doing the math they provided the probability values for all for entire distribution you point any two points between in, in this uh, you 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 mention any two points uh, we can find the probability between the two points uh, from this table from this table so this is the table which we are going to use to find the probabilities for standard normal distribution the same table we will use in our coming classes to to identify the probabilities of other normal distributions also so in our next class we are going to identify we will understand what this table means how we identify the probability values using this table that we are going to do examples in our next class after that we are going to use the same table to identify the probability values for other normal distributions also hope you understand the concept of normal distribution and probability table if you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.